Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today I have a universal external active smartphone cooler. So it's one of those that clips onto the back of your phone and uses fans. Okay, so this one comes from a company called G-Bell, or is it J-Bell? I'm not sure I'll pronounce it. And this particular model is the P20. I did have to import this, and um, this review is actually kind of a follow-up review. Um, for I did a review um, a similar um, gadget, this one here, the Basius. And you can see this one's actually a dual fan. Um, and I, did, I really like this, but um, I had to say that it didn't cool my phone the way I was hoping. And as I said in that video when I reviewed this one, at also many people commented below that the reason it didn't cool the phone as much as you would like is because you left the phone in its slim TPU case. So here is that phone. And you can see I do have the slim uh, gel case on here. And um, they told me, and I was pretty sure this is myself, but they reminded me that if I had taken this case off, uh, the cooling of the phone would have been better. So you might be asking why I did not remove this um, case is because um, this, cam this phone has a camera bump on the back. You can see it here. And when you take the case off, this is then the part of the phone that sticks out the most. Therefore, if I put it on this bed here, this, those cameras would have been uh, scraping either here or here, depending on what way I place the phone. And as I said in that video, I'm always going to prioritize my cameras not getting scratched over some cooling of the phone. So um, now that leads us back to this. Since this one does not have a wide bed, instead it just goes over the center of the back of the phone, it'll totally avoid touching the cameras and I will therefore be able to remove the TPU case and hopefully get some actual good cooling numbers. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and have a look around the box. Alright, so here we are. Um, we have some Chinese up there. Uh, perhaps that's the company um, name or maybe it's the uh, this written in Chinese, what we have here written in English, not sure. If you can read Chinese, comment below what it actually says. But I can read the English they printed, and it says designed for game. Okay, so yes, this is obviously for gamer-oriented, mobile gamer-oriented. <laughs> um, so then that there says 100% uh, original product. Okay, excellent. So, okay, P20 is the model number. On the side, mobile radiator. All right. On this side, same thing. On the bottom, uh, just some of those little icons. And prevents your hands from slipping. Okay. I assume that means that your hands will be cooler so they won't be as sweaty and therefore you won't drop the phone. Uh, if I had to make a guess what they're getting at. Made in China, we already kind of covered that. Uh, some little, looks like this is somebody who wrote with a Sharpie on here. I'm not sure what they were trying to write there, but um, I don't believe that's part of the packaging. Um, okay, nothing on top. Now, let's also, the box, as you can see, it did get kind of crumpled, because as always, they seem to want to send these in bubble mailers, which um, don't provide the most, well, don't provide any protection really against crunching, um, you know, if there's any reasonable amount of force applied to the item. Hopefully the actual product isn't damaged. Okay, now let's get to the back here. I'm gonna zoom in, this is small. All right, so we do have some specifications here on the back. And that do, there does appear to be enough English for us to understand this. All right, so you see the model number. Oh yeah, the colors, there are two colors. Black is what I selected, and hopefully that's the one that's in the box here. Um, the other color is kind of like an ice blue, a light blue color. Okay. Oh. I'll let you read this. I'll just kind of move this in front of the camera so you can read. Okay. There. All right. Okay, so 
So overall, I'm pretty happy with the packaging um, as far as what they have printed on the box. Uh, I, they did a way better job of having this box be bilingual. Um, there are a lot of times when you pick up a, a, a item such as this and either everything is written in Chinese or um, what little is written in English doesn't make a lot of sense. Kind of a lost in translation moment there. But this one does a pretty good job. So uh, that's a plus. Um, one thing I can say though, I think they could have done a better job on the kind of um, attention grabbing um, element of this because face it if you saw this across the store uh, unless you knew what it was you probably wouldn't go over to oh let me check it out because I mean it's not really clear what the thing is now I understand you can probably read it but still um, the website for example where I actually decided to purchase this um, they did a way better job of like selling it they had this attached to the back of someone's phone it was lit up and so a way more dynamic attention grabbing picture than this uh, although I do like the fact they have a picture of the item, again, it doesn't really grab your attention that much. Okay, so, um, but yeah, it does the job pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. All right, so there's no um, tab or any seal or anything like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the box. All right. Okay, that's what we get included. I guess we'll just... Uh, oh. Hmm. Nothing else. All right. So included was this cable. It is there. You go. That is what micro USB, and of course full size USB. I can tell you this cable is pretty thick. Um, a lot of times the included cable is um, really thin because it's just charged, right? So I'm kind of surprised that this cape, this cord is so thick. This looks more like it's a data as well as charging cable, which for this particular unit obviously wouldn't be necessary. So, all right, uh, moving on. Okay, here's the actual item. Little anesthetic bag. And there she is. So, uh, yeah, the picture on the box was really representative of the item. Okay. Okay, so the top, yeah, okay, I'm gonna call it top. The top does not move. The bottom, however, does pull out. So, of course, you can see there's the spring is what is tension, so that's why this stays locked onto your phone. Um, the arm that comes out, let me show you that. You can see there, um, it, oh, yes, it's all plastic, so um, the, whole, the shell, and the arm and the, the clasps or the claws, that everything is plastic. Okay, now um, this here, let's see how much wiggle we have. Yeah, okay, so you're gonna wanna make sure when you pull this out that you pull it straight out and don't like pull it up or down because you won't want this to break. All right, um, inside the claws, I can't see it. Yes, there is a little piece of foam up there so within that little gripper there, there's foam. It, okay. And this, by the way, is uh, like a rubber, rubberized surface. It's not foam, it's more, yeah, I, I'm sure maybe the rubber helps it uh, grip better, okay? And then down here, you have that same foam type material that is up here. Okay, um, that, by the way, is full extension. And um, can't. I'm looking inside here through these. Uh, oh, yeah, I should show you. It does have these. Um, has a lot of uh, porting down here. So, and I guess that makes sense for airflow and all. And of course, here's the power button with the universal power um, symbol. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up, and we'll take it from there. All right. So um, yeah, I learned something. <laughs> uh, I'll start off, I'll, I'll give you the short version of it. This here does not have a battery in it. Um, I figured that out when I was trying to charge it and I couldn't understand why the thing wasn't charging because there's no battery in here to charge. 
And yes, if I read the back of the box, I could have figured that out, and I did, but I kind of went ahead and assumed it was like this one, where there's a power supply hit built into it, and this here can power itself once you've charged it up. That's not how this one works. This one requires um, it be powered by wire at all times during operation. Okay, so now, but in my um, roundabout way of figuring that you have to actually have this cable connected and all that, I did learn a few things. Um, so I tr initially tried to use it, um, I had this plugged into the wall, and of course the supplied cable plugged into here and it didn't work and I couldn't figure out why but I looked at the LED and the LED was struggling to even light up so I knew something wasn't right and this I know does work so I figured ah, maybe not enough power or not enough juice so I went ahead and got this this is the fast charger that came with my LG V20 and it does in fact as I said do fast charging and when I did hit when I plugged this in the wall and connected this to this um, it did it started to work so I uh, remember what the box says um, that the charger uh, requires uh, 5 volts and 1.5 amps or more. Also, it speaks about the wire. So initially, remember I said that I thought this wire was kind of a little beefier than normal. Um, it must be because it has to supply that higher current. So um, yeah, I would use this wire, um, not one of your cheaper ones that you have laying around from some other gadget you bought. Okay, so um, all right, now let's talk about um, when it is actually operating, and I'm going to go ahead and um, go and demo it for you. Now I could go ahead and plug this into the wall and run the cable down here, but then I thought, you know, we're trying to keep this as a mobile, you know, mobile gaming, all that stuff. So. I went ahead and picked up my power supply. Uh, this is a rock power supply. Really good power supply. I've been using this for a long time. It hasn't failed me yet. So, um, yeah. Also, you'll see it has some good information on the display. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And I'm going to zoom in on this so you can read. Okay. So, I have it, the cable connected to the device. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. Okay, you can see, so I have 100%, I fully charged up the power supply. Now I'm going to go ahead and activate the um, cooler. Okay, turn on. There we go. Okay, so you can see um, we have 5 volts going out and 2 amps. And because we have 2 amps, which is over the threshold that this device needs, it is in fact operating. Okay, so now we might as well go look at the device here. You can see there are in fact LEDs, that nice blue, and um, you can see the LED kind of illuminates off to the side, which is cool. And now you can probably hear it. We are working with a single fan, although now in this short time since I turned it on, this back pad is cool. I mean, it's noticeably cool. I mean, it's not like, oh, it's slightly cooler. No, this you can tell is actually something is working to make this colder than it would otherwise be. Um, so, yes. And also, remember, it said that it gets even, the effect um, is even better after two minutes. But even before two minutes, you can already, just by touching this, feel this is actually quite chilly. So, um, this is definitely working. And with that, um, again, it's a little different concept than this one here because as you can see, you can see the light through, right? So this one has the fan and it draws the air through and that's the idea. So it comes out the back. This, however, this is completely closed. So we're kind of working on a different premise here. Again, it uses a fan, but this is using a fan to cool this instead of just moving air around. Yeah, and it's getting even cooler. So, um, all signs look um, like this is actually going to work. Of course, the test is to try it while my phone is in use. I will be using my phone. I will be playing games. I've already selected a game that's uh, more graphic intense. My idea is that'll heat up the phone faster, right? Because it's going to make the phone work harder. And then I will be taking temperatures. And I already got a spreadsheet all ready to start putting in the data. And, uh, wow. Um, it looks like this might actually perform quite well. All right, so I had the chance to go ahead and test it out, play some games. I got data. I put it in my little spreadsheet, and I'll share with the results with you in just a sec. Um, but before we get to that, just wanted to give you a couple um, I got takeaways on how it is to use. So you can see this is the phone that I tested it out with. Again, the LG V20. 
I wanted to point out that this foam here, which um, from side to side, well, in this case, as you're seeing it up and down, right, because it's in landscape mode. But anyway, um, as far as your, um, the span of how far this can stretch, I put it up earlier what the range was. So I wanted to tell you that this foam here is just under 8 centimeters wide. All right. And that's about as far as this can stretch. It might be able to go a little further, but um, because this is a hook, right, see there, um, you need a little clearance. So I would say you need to be a little bit under. You want to give yourself a little leeway. You don't want to take it to max because, again, you've got to clear this little hook um, when you come over the top. So this here is a good fit for the LG V20. And um, so that, okay, now moving on, uh, let's talk about the, um, how does it feel while you're using it? There's not that much vibration. You can definitely, I mean, if you're listening closely, you can hear the fan. We are, you probably already heard it on the um, recording, but it's not that distracting while you're playing games, especially since you either have your headphones in or the speakers on your phone are blaring, so you're not going to really hear the um, fan. So that's good. Uh, as far as the, um, how does it feel on your hands? As far as um, you do get a little breeze coming off the sides, because again, remember it has those holes on both sides. So you will feel um, it's not like super intense. I mean, but it is enough to notice that there is some air, and as you're playing, that um, little bit of breeze it has a cumulative effect. So you are going to feel that your hands are a little cooler. So um, that actually works out pretty well. Um, so now let's go ahead and get to the data. All right, so what I did is I, I test this doing two play sessions. Both sessions were 12 minutes long and they were playing the same game. Okay, so the first um, two boxes here are um, without the fan, so just normal without the accessory that we're reviewing here, okay? So you can see I took temperatures in, um, let's see, six different locations on the back of the phone using a contactless uh, thermometer, okay? So you can see I listed the positions there. And then, of course, on the bottom there, you have the average of those temperatures above. Then after I was done playing the game, um, so post-game play, I did the same thing and took the average of those temperatures. So you can see there we have a heat increase of 14.25 degrees Fahrenheit for when we do not have the fan installed. Over here, did the exact same thing, but this time with the fan installed. So there's our pre-numbers before the gameplay. And there's the numbers after gameplay. So the heat increase there was only 9.58. So comparing the different heat increases, it the fan cools the unit by 4.67 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is in fact cooling it down. So that's good. All right, so is this a substitute or an alternative to something like this? And the answer is, well, as with most things, it depends. If you only want to carry two items, one peripheral and your phone, then I'd go with something like this. For the simple reason you have your power supply built in, and um, as long as you remember to charge this before leaving, you don't have to carry anything else. You don't even have to carry air cable. Um, if you do want to carry a short little cable, you can use this even to recharge your phone. Okay, But if you don't mind carrying more than two things, then maybe this wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, for you can keep this in your pocket, it's relatively small, right? And then in your maybe your backpack, your laptop bag, or whatever, you can put your power supply. And if you're carrying a bag anyway, you might as well go big, right? And put you know use this. Um, yes, I know this is kind of overkill, but um, you could use that or just go with that um, smaller size power supply like I showed you earlier in the video. And um, yep. So uh, also keep in mind, we kind of, although they both use fans, they're kind of using two different methods. One's a blow through, you can see there, as where this one is using the fans to cool this plate back here. Um, but yeah, so I think it's kind of a preference. Um, for me, again, I like preserving my cameras, so I'm probably gonna use this primarily. But I still think I'm still keeping this, and um, I think this is a good option, although I will be using my um, slim case when I use this don't need to with this though so all right